This video will bring all the skills you've learned in all the previous um, design slide videos and um, compile that into a cutout design template. So we're going to use the transparency overlay and apply this cutout design uh, using a Google slide. So on this particular um, slide template, we, again, we have a quote from Lee Jackson. Um, and Lee says, your slides should be a billboard, not a document. So in other words, our, our slides should not be filled with so much information that it makes the uh, audience head spin. So what it should do is just concentrate on one particular um, um, point for each slide. So this slide, again, may not be too bad the way it's currently laid out, but I think we can make it better. So some things we'll do. First thing we're going to do is um, kind of take care of this background image, which is a great image if we're talking about slides. Um, but the problem is, is that it's a little bit too busy. As um, the audience looks at this slide, it's going to be really hard for them to know where am I supposed to focus. I've got twists and turns all over the place, and they may not even be looking at the quote, which is the most important part here at the bottom. So what we're going to do here is kind of um, apply some design to make this slide, the point of this slide stand out a lot better. So the first thing we're going to do is to apply a blue transparent overlay. So what I'll do is I'll go up to my shapes and I'm just going to click on the rectangle shape and then I'll just click that onto the slide. So what it does by default, it just gives me a square, um, a solid square design. What I'm going to do is change this um, color here Let's go up to our little bucket tool and change the fill color to, let's use this dark blue. When I apply that dark blue, you can see that it's a solid square. So this by itself would not really look very good on my slide. So what I want to do is make this transparent. And if I go back to the bucket tool, you can see down below that you have an option there for custom. And if I choose custom, there's the color I currently have selected, but I also have this slider to the far right that allows me to make that um, color transparent. So if I bring this down to about, oh, I don't know, 25% of the way down and click OK, it's going to make that a lot more subtle. That might be a little bit too transparent for this particular slide, so I'm going to go back to custom here and bring it up a little bit so that it's maybe only about 20 or 25 or 15% uh, of the way down. All right, now what I can do is bring that slide all the way to the right edge and then bring it down to line up with this white box here. And I may have a border tool there um, by default. Yes, yeah, so it's already applying a gray border tool. I'm gonna make that transparent so I don't want there to be a border around that box. So now if I just click, I can still see that we have a water slide here, but boy, look how much more my quote stands out now. So let's make this quote look even better. So down here, step two says change the text color to blend with the blue transparency. So what I'm saying there is let's highlight all of that text and let's, instead of it being black, let's have it kind of match our blue here a little bit more. So we're going to go up to our text color tool and I'm going to choose that same dark blue. And right now I can see that really makes that slide blend in and uh, everything seems to match and look more professional now. Step three says to bold and change the billboard text to orange. So right here, billboard. Now you may notice that a lot of people when they highlight a word, they go to the beginning of the word and go to the end. Careful not to grab the comma but that takes a lot of extra time. A technique you may not know about is to just double click a word and it'll highlight that word. And again, if there's a comma there or a period, it will not grab that comma or period. So what I can do there is I'll just go up and make this bold or I can do control B. And right now that's blue, but let's make it stand out a little bit more with that orange color that we've been using throughout our presentation. So that's a nice accent color now with my slide. So this by itself really looks good, but uh, I think we can make it look even better by applying a few more things. So let's also make this italic. So um, you may notice that if I highlight the entire word, I can choose italic. 
but I also want to show you a technique if I just click on any of these little boxes here so that just the text box is selected. I can also apply anything like the italic to that entire text box. All right, so now that, um, now that looks a lot better, um, it's looking more professional. Our last step here says to insert a large text box using the word design in bold white letters. So I'm gonna go up to my text box tool here, and then I'm just going to, it says to make a large box. So I made a large one there, and then in all caps, design. And I don't think I put in the directions here for what font to use. So I'm just going to tell you that I've been using this font up here under Arial, um, Orbitron, um, Orbitron. And then I'm going to make that bold. And then it says to make it large. So what I'll do here is let's bring it up to about 72. Maybe even, let's try maybe even 96. No, nope, that's probably going to be too big, 72. All right, um, but then it said to make it white. So that step, I'm going to choose on my text color, choose the white box. And then step number five says to position it so it is sitting and blends with the white edge of the large white box. So it's talking about this box here at the bottom. So again, that was just a white shape box that I inserted into the template. So you can see that was the rest of the picture down below. Um, all I did is I just put that white box in behind my text to just cover up that part of the image. So here now with my uh, design, you can remember if I just click on the text, Google's going to think that I want to edit the text. But in this case, I just want to change the location of it. So I got to move my cursor up a little bit more so that I'm on the crosshairs. Now when I click with my crosshairs, I can use my arrow key on my keyboard to bring it down get this edge to line up with this edge of the text. And then I'm going to use my shift arrow keys to bring it down just a little bit more, bring it over to the right just a little bit and get it positioned right where I want it. And now I'll just click off to the side. You can see how that word kind of blends in. So now it kind of looks like this was all cut out um, and applied over the top of this image. So let's take a look at our template design here. So now if I were to look at this in a presentation and we're talking about slides, I can see the slides image in the background, but it doesn't dominate my eyes. My focal point goes right to design and billboard. And I can see the quote says, your slide should be a billboard, not a document. All right, this video demonstrated how to use the transparent overlay and cutout design to create a professional looking slide on Google Slides.